Well, that destroyed that bit. Jesus. It, now I remember why I don't do this test anymore because these bits go like crazy. We're gonna use one more bit and see. Yep, keep breaking them. Don, we're not gonna use that test. Let's find out once and for all if the FlexVolt Advantage is actually extremely good with the FlexVolt Advantage battery or the FlexVolt battery. I already did a test on this against this, against the 996, against the power detect, and all the test results are the same that the 6 amp hour battery with 21700 cells will actually give the, this tool more power than this FlexVolt battery actually will. Hey guys, so today what we are going to do is we are going to see the difference between the DeWalt Power Detect and the DeWalt FlexVolt Advantage. Alright, so next let's do a one and a quarter inch speed bore. Drill, speed three, go. Up, uh, it failed on speed three. Six amp hour. Alright, so it's on drill, speed three, go. Time. Just to show you guys one more time, do it right here. Take the 21700 cell battery out, put the 18650 cell in, it's on speed three, it's on drill, go. Oh. Yes, it can. Now, let's get the DeWalt FlexVolt Advantage and put a 21700 cell battery in it. Let's see if it could do it with the battery. All right, speed three. It's on drill, 21700 cell battery in the flex volt advantage, go. Yes, it can. All right, so remember this video is based on the comments of people saying that the flex volt battery needs to be in the flex volt advantage to have it to show its true power. Let's find out right now. A four amp hour with 18650 cells. 5 pounds and 0 0.3 ounces. 6 amp hour on the FlexVolt Advantage, 5 pounds and 15.5 ounces. 6 amp hour with 21700 cells, 5 pounds and 12.5 ounces. All right, so first we're gonna start off with the 4 amp hour. This does have a uh, 20 minute work light, just so you guys know, on the bottom. All right, so for the first test, we are gonna do the, only the hard task. We are gonna do an eight inch timber lock, then an eight inch by half inch lag. We're gonna use the first uh, timber lock hole as a pre-drill hole for the eight inch lag so the wood doesn't split. We will be using Hilti nut setter bits. Time drill, speed three. And one last thing, for this to be remotely accurate that the flex volt advantage, uh, that the flex volt battery in the flex volt advantage tool, this battery should win every test no matter what. All right, next let's do the flex bolt battery. Same thing with the XR 21700 cells. Time. All right, let's take it out. just so we don't split the wood with six inch by three eighths inch uh, lag. Should actually be a very easy task. All right, so the four amp hour was not able to do it on speed three, so let's switch it over to speed two. And we're gonna continue the timer. Nope, oh, not able to do finish, so uh, the four amp hour regular battery requires speed one. It is not finished yet. Time. Yep, well that's a lot better than the four amp hour. All right, let's do the six amp hour. Did it. Let's see if uh, the four amp hour is able to take it out. Nope, still completely tight in there. Speed two. Yep. Now let's do the flex volt advantage. Yes, it can. 
No problem. Now this is where we're gonna see results, is right here. So, based on the, those results, the four regular four amp hour battery is gonna have trouble with this. And just so you guys know, there are a lot of people out there that say that you get no additional power to the motor, no matter what amp hour you, you have. People say 20 volts is 20 volts no matter what. This is gonna be the test that separates the, the batteries. All right, as far as that went, let's switch over to speed two. As far as that went, let's switch over to speed one. This should be able to do this on speed one. All right, not bad, not bad for a four amp hour battery. Not bad at all. Let's take it out. Simp hour flex volt, battery is still full, you guys. See, that's the one thing about DeWalt, to get this to go to speed three. As you can see, it doesn't go. You gotta just pull the trigger, then you can switch it to speed three. All right, so that failed on speed three. Let's go to speed two, finish the timer. All right, that failed on speed two. Let's switch to speed one. Time. Let's go to speed two. Let's see if we can finish it on speed two. Almost. And speed one. Time. Switch it to speed three, see if it can take it out. Nope, speed two. Yes, it can. On speed three, let's take it out. Nope, uh, speed three failed. Speed two. Time. I'll stop the timer at the correct times for all of them. Let's actually whip out the flex augers. This is a one inch auger. I do love flex cases, spring loaded to where, bam. Power battery is still full. Time. Time. I suggest you get this tool, you guys. Extremely handy. We're actually gonna drive them in with the DCF921. A little bit more. And so since both of these batteries are still full, let's use a tool that is way above its means. And let's see which one of these batteries gives it the power the most. Flex volt battery first. Not too shabby. Hey, not a bad tool that I made, you guys. Not a bad tool that I made at all. For the last test, let's do a 5 8 inch hole all the way to the chuck. Time. That's not bad for a 4 amp hour. Battery's still full, full, full. Oh, let's just test out the hole. Yep, that's good. That's good, perfect. Battery is still full. Time. I love this Hilti vacuum. Uh, this is the new Neuron VC140-2-22. It's an amazing vacuum. I've used this, I've been using this for the past year to clean up my concrete messes. 
and whatnot. And so I thank you, Hilti, for sending me this. It's awesome, you guys. It really is a nice vacuum. All right, so let's, uh, yep, that is good to go. See, they're all good. And so unfortunately, when it comes to the 10 inch uh, by half inch lag, yeah, three of them broke and st one stripped, two of them broke. I do want to do a versus video against the power detect versus the flex forward advantage. My tests have completely changed since the last time I actually tested this out. And so, yeah, it's, it is more powerful than I thought it was. Only one way to find out, we'll do a versus video against the power detect. And once again, I do not know what the test results are until I edit the video. But that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.